Hello everyone, today we'll show you how to integrate UDAS Enterprise with Open Nebula. So the first thing to do is to go to the side menu and choose Services. In Services we choose New Open Nebula Platform Provider. Then you choose the name of the service provider, the host IP address, the username and the password. Before you save you should test and see if the service can connect to the server. If test is successful you can then save and create a base service for Open Nebula. To create a base service, we click on the service we have created, scroll down to services and select new Open Nebula Live image. In the main tab we choose a name and the data store. In the machine tab we choose the base template and the name length. By saving we have created an Open Nebula Live image. Now that we have created a service for Open Nebula and a live image, we can go to service polls to launch a publication. In service polls we create a new service poll for Open Nebula. For the service poll we choose a name and the base service and the OS manager. In the tab Availability, we specify how many services we want to create. By saving, our publication is now launched and being created. Let's now check our service and see the publication state. By clicking on the tab Publications, we can see that our publication is in preparation state. In a while, our publication will be ready. Let's now have a look at Open Nebula Sandstone. We can see in template section that our publication is being cloned. While waiting for the instances to be ready, we'll go to the dashboard and assign a transport and a group and user to our services. In the transports tab, we assign a new transport. By saving, we have assigned a transport. We move to the tab groups so we can assign a group and a user. Let's choose an authenticator and a group. By saving, we have assigned a group to our services. Let's now have a look at Open Nebula dashboard again to see if the services are ready. So now we can see that our services are being created and that there is a service being created every 3 to 4 seconds. So now that the three services have been created, we can jump again to view this dashboard. In the publication tab, we can see the services state. Once the state is valid, we can switch to user mode to see our services. So now as you can see, our service is ready and it can be used by any user registered in the group we have assigned to this service.